Welcome Aries, I'm back guys Welcome to my channel If you are new to this channel You can go ahead and click that bell to subscribe Because you do not want to miss out Alright, you don't want to miss out at all If you are a returning subscriber Hi guys, what's up? Y'all go ahead and hit that like button Share this with your family and your friends Because I was pulling energy before I click click. Uh, record and the card that I got I'm, I'm so ready to see what this is going to bring okay I'm so ready to see what this is going to bring I got commitment it was in the reverse so that means that somebody is very much so non-committal case and go back in the room somebody is very much so non-committal and see look I can't make this up I can't make this up I'm shuffling and it just falls out like literally so i have to bring it to the table <laughs> i'm gonna have to bring it to the table okay so for me it's reversed because it's going it's this way for me all right but we'll put it i'm gonna put it like this for you guys okay it, it wanted to reveal itself all i did i shuffled i asked for you guys current energy on what's coming ahead that jumped out immediately right before I click play and I'm just shuffling now and it just literally just literally popped out like literally so we're going to keep it we're going to keep it okay we're going to keep it all right so we got metamorphosis it's in the reverse as well all right and that makes me feel that somebody doesn't want to change Someone isn't growing. Okay, there's no growth. Give me one more card. Give me one more card. This is gonna be from now into the remain through the remainder of July. Okay, going into August energy. Give me one more card for my Aries. And I got abandoned in the reverse. Alright. You guys may have let your guard down with someone. Okay, you guys may have let, let your guard down. Okay, oh, okay, it looks like some of you guys are dealing with a divine masculine. Okay, so for a lot of you, this is a male that you could be dealing with. There could be communication issues, someone's afraid to say how they feel. Okay, and that's clearly what I'm getting, but I, I get that someone's uh nervous or has anxiety issues about about saying what it is that they truly want to say someone here possibly wants a commitment and they aren't getting that commitment okay because someone is afraid of growth someone isn't growing someone does not want to grow Okay, so let's see what's what. Let's see what's going on. We'll put these to the side because I feel like that's that energy is going to be significant, very significant. Energy is going to be very significant. All right, so what messages are there for my Aries? All right, Aries, keep in mind, guys, these are general reads. So they will not resonate with every single Aries. If some of these messages resonate, good. If the whole thing resonates, good. But this is going to be for the people who truly need it, okay? Keep that in mind as well. I am also available um, if you would like to book your very own personal reading. That information is in the drop box below. As well as, you guys, check out my merch, okay? Check out my merchandise. Check out my store. Um, it's right below the video, guys. You can donate to the channel if you would like to donate to this channel. All right. It'll be greatly appreciated. Okay. So let's talk about it, Aries. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. Let's let's talk about this. All right. At the bottom of the deck, here we go again. Okay. The Eight of Swords. Fear. Anxiety. Okay. Being in your head. Stuck in your head. This is very much so stuck energy. And someone possibly being afraid Okay, we got the Ten of Cups, okay, and the Ace of Cups right behind that, okay? So someone's afraid to, of a commitment. Someone's afraid to try something new, step outside of the box. All right, so let's, let's talk about it. 
And I got the Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. This looks like someone is investing or want to invest. Okay, or someone is looking at long term. Yeah, we got the Lovers here. Knight of Cups. And we got the Ten of Swords for future energy. Queen of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I got Gemini here. Um, King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. You can feel like this person is, you're emotionally a, attached or tied to this person. Um, because I got the King of Cups as well as the Queen of Cups here. I got the King of Pentacles here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Ace. I got all the signs here. All of the energies are here. Let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is here. For some of you, I'm seeing like there could be a divorce or talks of a divorce. Or some, or you guys could be waiting for someone to get a divorce. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles. Oh, no, you're working. You're very, very focused and zoomed in on your finances and your work, your career. Some of you are trying to dodge a financial hiccup, okay? It's, a lot of you guys are breaking on multiple streams of income. Look at you guys' energy standing out strong. Aries with the emperor here. We got the empress. We got the mother and the father card. And we got the king of cups and the queen of cups, okay? So some of you could be dealing like with a twin flame, um, twin flame type of energy, okay? Why is the seven of pentacles here? Okay. Are you regretting that you waited this long? Why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, waited to leave or to go back. Because I got the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups here. Your intuition was telling you to go ahead and, and do something. But you were hesitant. You waited. And you regret waiting. I got the Lover's card here. Gemini's energy. But this is also a decision. Okay, so this is about rekindling the lovers and the three of cups. This is about rekindling something here. Okay, for some of you, this could be a work relationship. I'm getting that like you were waiting for someone to flirt with you or waiting for someone to reach out to you. Why is the knight of cups here? Hmm. Four of Swords. Some of you guys are like thinking of what to say uh, to this person. And this person could be at a distance from you. And you haven't been in communication with them. Like you haven't been in, in the past. You weren't in communication. You probably possibly were thinking of what you wanted to say to this person. I got... <laughs> I got someone's going to stop um, and someone could possibly become really distant, but you possibly are going to cut ties with this person. I got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, okay? Somebody may want their space. Somebody may want space, okay? Somebody may want some space. Why is the King of Cups here? Five of Swords. You want to have a serious talk with this person? Why is the King of Swords? Yeah, see, King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Like, you want to speak your truth to this person. You want to be open and honest, okay? And I feel like you try to work on something or you're trying to build something. Um, possibly someone is trying to return to you after they left, okay? Somebody wants to reconnect or uh, start over. But you haven't heard from them. So you, you're you deciding to cut ties. You're going to have this serious conversation. You're going to have this conversation with this person. Why is the king of pentacles here? They view you as the king of pentacles. They see you as being very, very serious about your money. So Aries, y'all is like on top of y'all game financially. Like y'all focus, your focus is on your money and your career. Okay. You possibly don't want to, you possibly aren't, you know, don't want to. Don't want to deal with them anymore. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Oh, the Four of Wands. Okay, the Commitment card. A new beginning. A new, you know, family unit. 
somebody possibly even wants to get married. Like somebody possibly wants to get married. Yeah. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles. See, this is the singles card. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to be loving on yourself. I feel like you guys' focus is on you. I feel like you're cutting ties with this person. You feel like this person has possibly, like, will hold you back um, with the Four of Pentacles. And I feel like you're very hesitant. Like, I get very hesitant energy. Um, somebody here wants a commitment, though. And they want to work on something. It could be somebody from the past. Why is the Four of Wands here? It could definitely be someone from the past trying to return. Seven of Cups. Okay. Yeah, see, you are un you're indecisive on whether or not you want to return back to this person. Okay, look at you guys' energy. See, we got King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Y'all got a lot of twin flame energy, a lot of soulmate-like type energy. But I'm getting like you guys are cutting ties. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, the Hermit. And the strength card, like you found the strength, you found, they didn't let you get too strong. Like they don't let you, um, you know, build up your confidence enough to cut them off. So it's a wrap. Like right now, I feel like you're emotionally, um, you're working on your emotions and balancing your emotions and you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your money. You're focused on your goals. Like you're good. I feel like you're good. You're not even studying this this connection like that right now it's like maybe you want them to regret that they waited so long to reach out reach back out to you um maybe someone was afraid to reach out but i'm just getting like i'm really getting like you a lot of you guys possibly are like no you know i don't really want that's not really what i'm looking for right now okay it's not really what I'm looking for. Or this energy could be vice versa, okay? This could be vice versa. You guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.